Good morning, friends. I trust you're keeping well. It's a great joy to once again share a little thought what God had put in my heart. The thought for the day is from the book of Zechariah chapter 9, verse 12. And I'm reading from the Amplified Version and the verse goes like this. It says, Return to the stronghold of security and prosperity. You prisoners of hope, even today do I declare that I will restore double your former prosperity to you. Hallelujah. The prophet Zechariah is assuring the Israelites, the word of the Lord came to the Israelites, that they, they can come back to a place of security. Anybody who has been lost, anybody who has been facing through trouble, adversity, broken, and the word of God was reassuring that he will repay two portion of blessings for each trouble that the children of God had faced. But the key thing is, it says, return where? To the stronghold. The stronghold means a place that has been cut off from access. And the Bible says in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 8, this is what the scripture says. It is about a security which the returning Jews shall have in a Lord Messiah. I'm really reminded of a beautiful verse in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7. And the scripture goes like, like this. Instead of shame, my people will have double portion. Instead of humiliation, they will rejoice in their share. So they will inherit a double portion in their land and everlasting joy will be theirs. Hallelujah. What a faithful God. The Bible says he will render double a greater than even what you had earlier. For every trouble, there's a double a greater portion of blessings which has been reassured there will be everlasting joy of theirs will be there. That is the portion the Bible says. The key thing is I'm reminded of a great missionary called William Carey. William Carey was a Baptist minister who as a Christian missionary, he went to India to establish, uh, you know, to do a ministry in India. He was involved in translating the Bible and as he was translating, he also established a Serampur College and the Serampur University. A man who had a heart for God, a Baptist minister, a social reformer who was involved translating the Bible in the local languages. And as he was ministering in the college, one day his staff member came and said, William, the whole press is burnt of fire. In a matter of few minutes, the whole, all the work that he had toiled to translate the Bible was burnt away. He did not give up, he pressed on. But the news spread to the other parts of the world. You know, for every tears that he shed, more resources poured out, more volunteers came. In 17th century, the work was almost 10,000 pounds value, it seems, was burnt out. But more volunteers and resources poured out. The key lesson which I was really assured when I was when I read this history or the story of William Carey is he did not give up the work that was you know earlier working within his limit now it expanded this morning wherever whichever part of the world you might be I want to assure you that my God's grace for every adversity every trouble you've been through God is wants to tell you that you're going to receive double portion of blessings in your life father in the name of Jesus O oh Lord Lord, whichever part of the world, your children who are hearing this, Lord, I pray for a supernatural a breakthrough, Lord, for every, Lord, the tears, the adversity, where they feel that they have been depleted, Lord. Let them receive, Lord, Lord, a supernatural miracle, healing, deliverance, a rush, restoration, Lord, for your namesake of Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. My friends, that's the word for you. God is telling you, God wants to know, know you, wants to let you know that God is going to do something supernatural in your life. In Jesus' name, receive it. Amen.